Hello everybody and welcome back to The Vapeful. Today guys, we are going to be reviewing the beautiful Tobacco Enigma version 3. Now, I wanna go ahead and jump right into this because I'm kind of excited about this one to be honest. Uh, this thing has three different parts. It has your, whoops. Well, it had three different parts. It has uh, the top cap, which allows you to take it off so you can put on something like a cloud build if you want. It has the casing with your airflow holes. These airflow holes are about the right size. They are almost the exact same size as a standard tugboat. And then there is the RDA itself, as you guys can see here. As soon as the camera adjusts, there you go. And I went ahead and put some cotton in there. I have a 0.6 ohm build in here. It has a 24 karat gold center pin that is adjusted with a regular screwdriver, non-Phillips. The outside ones are Phillips. Uh, kind of weird. I'm thinking that's probably because this is a clone and um, I'm not sure if the, the real one had that or not. But I thought I'd go ahead and drip some liquid on this, vape on it a little bit, and then give you guys a basic review. I'm going to be using some Coval Vapes Teddy's Gram 3 Nicotine. Uh, it is, I believe, 70-30 on the juice level there, so I'm just going to get these wicks nice and wet. Now, one thing that I do like about this RDA so far is I found that even though that center pin having the different kind of screwdriver on it, I found that this specific build um, deck is, is really, really easy to build on. I was able to get my coils in there exactly the way that I wanted. Uh, which usually doesn't happen quite that easy for me because uh, I'm still you know somewhat new to building overall um, But yeah, I really I really thought that they did a Good job on this clone with building it like that now the well in this is not the deepest But it's also not the shallowest that I've seen one thing that I like to do is kind of push the coil uh, or the wick that is underneath the coil down a little bit so that it uh, prevent or provides a little bit more airflow than is normally there to kind of get that juice flowing up into and through those coils. Uh, just personal preference there. So I got this thing all juiced up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my top cap on with the airflow lined up against the holes and I'll then put the top cap on. Now I'm rocking this on top of my Lernia clone mechanical mod. Uh, I really do like this thing, surprisingly. So um, let's go ahead and give this a vape. Make sure it's sizzling, which it is. And let's go ahead and give it a try. <coughs> wow. It's got really good flavor. Um, this Teddy's Graham flavor is probably not the best one to use for testing out RDAs because it does have a little tiny bit of cinnamon in it and that can have a tendency to be a little rough. Um, but it has really good airflow. It does make kind of a squeaking sound when I am breathing it in. Not really sure why. Let me adjust this wick a little bit now that I've kind of vaped a little bit of the juice out of it to kind of get it more intact with the way it's supposed to be for my liking anyway. And um, I'm going to go ahead and press the wick down underneath the coil so that I get a little bit more airflow from side to side. Just like that. I'll go ahead and put the top cap back on, adjusting that. It's just little mini, mini things that I like to do. Much better airflow when I do that. Um, really, really good flavor. Cloud production is there as well. I like this thing, I think it does a really good job. I'm gonna go ahead and give this Enigma version three a eight and a half out of 10. Um, the squeaking thing is slightly weird for me, 
Not really sure what's causing that, to be honest. Um, I don't know, because these holes are perfectly drilled out from the looks of them, so maybe this top cap just has a little bit of a leakage in it. But it does have really, really great flavor and really, really great airflow. Honestly, I'm impressed. I would probably like to see a little bit more airflow, um, maybe make those holes mm, slightly bigger right now. They are a 5 16th. Uh, I would go a little bit bigger. That's just personal preference though. Um, but man, the flavor in this just simply kicks butt, guys. Really great flavor. I'm liking it. Thumbs up, great job. If you guys are new to the Vape Fold, be sure to hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, you see when all my new content comes out and then when you guys view, it really helps me out. Uh, make sure to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, Instagram, stuff like that, if you guys can do that as well. Um, I run contests all the time, so you're definitely gonna wanna be subscribed to be, to be so I can let you know when that is. And also guys, every single like helps my channel out, so if you can, go ahead and like the video. And I'll see you guys next time here on the Vape Fold. Let's do one more vape, and we'll call it a day.